it's a little bit like cancel culture. What worries mm -hmm. me about cancel culture aren't the instances of cancellation, right? People get canceled and then they, they recover their careers for one reason. It's the culture. It's the culture. That is the fear that so many people have in different walks of life that if they speak up, they are going to be canceled, which leads to a culture of silencing. And my sense is, sure, the incidents that reach the headlines, that get the attention of the Jewish press or, or the major press, are relatively few and far between. Why? Because people are shutting up. 63% of students on college campuses, according to Heterodox Academy, believe that their campuses are places where they cannot speak freely. And I say this only anecdotally because data is hard to come by, but all of you who have children or grandchildren at colleges know that that goes doubly so when it comes to conversations about Israel, when it goes to talking about their Jewish pride, their Jewish identity, and their Jewish political affinities. And what's so frightening, and this is what really, what really frightens me, which is that incidents which would be um, five alarm fires when they involved different ethnicities or different minorities are treated as trivialities when they involve Jews, except when a trustee gets involved or a, a, a philanthropic parent gets involved, and then it's sort of taken up. I'll give you one, one small example that I found so upsetting. Um, you know, in, 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 uh, after the anti-Semitic attacks of uh, May of 2021 uh, during, during, during the war, all of a sudden, a few people got it in them to say, right, well, you know, we oppose anti-Semitism. But all of these statements were couched in, we oppose transphobia, Islamophobia, uh, this phobia, that phobia, anti-Semitism, and then six others, right? This is the same culture that says, no, black lives matter, right? Let's, let's focus on the hatred at hand. So notice the cultural double standard that when it comes to anti-Semitism, to denouncing anti-Semitism, administrators, teachers, and the culture at large speaks sotto voce. When it comes to other forms of bigotry, they are, they are loud and insistent. And that's a, a telling difference. 